And does your wine glass matter? Whoa! Our <laughs> wine expert is in the studio tonight to answer the question, do not break that glass. So, do you drink out of fat glasses, thin glasses, stemless plastic? What's good and what's bad? All right, if you are a wine drinker, you probably have your favorite kind of wine glass, but does that one wine glass make your wine actually taste better over another glass? Well, our wine expert and sommelier, Matthew Horbin, is here to tell us. So, Matt, you know, I love the big bowl wine glass, <laughs> but uh, what do you use at home? Believe it or not, I use the Riedel O glasses, and they're stemless, but they're still fine, finely made. They're glass that's light. And these don't fall over because I'm always worried about no, these. No, the bottoms are flat. What I like about them is they're convenient, especially if you're just having a relaxing night. Throw them in the dishwasher. You don't have to worry about them. But stemless, doesn't that like heat up when you hold it? If you're going to hold it for a long period of time, what I recommend is just pouring a little bit less than you normally would and oh. keep it. I know it's <laughs> scary to pour a little bit less, but uh, it, it just pour a little bit less and it won't warm up as much. But most people don't hold them. Well, you have a couple different shapes here. So does the shape of a wine glass actually change the taste of the wine? Why? Studies have shown yes and no, and I hate to say it depends. Mm -hmm. For most people, you might not be able to tell. However, if you're discerning white palate or if you're someone who really enjoys a different grapes, the shape of the glass will do things for the wine in your mouth that helps you pick up different flavors. Some of the glasses, like Riedel has their glasses that are grape specific, and they've mm. done studies to show that putting it in the front for one taste versus the back for another taste, the glass is made to do that. So I could put it in my beer mug and not tell the difference for me. <laughs> they actually make beer glasses as well. Now, so for instance, I have white wine glasses. They're a little bit thinner, and then mm -hmm. I have the red wine glasses that are a little bit Exactly, they're, they're More bigger. Of a bowl. And, and the reason for that is for the white wine glasses, they don't need as much air and oxygen to interact with the wine to open it up. All right. So what, let's talk about price, because do, do you need a more expensive glass? Definitely not. First off, again, Riedel has different levels, mm -hmm. but some of the glasses that I use for events when I have a lot of people coming, I go to a place like Bed Bath & Beyond, and for 12 bucks I get four glasses, and these are them, and you can see that they're similar in shape mm -hmm. as uh, some of these glasses are, and if you hold it, it's nice and light. It's not a That's heavy, correct. clunky can glass for four bucks. Can that go in your bucks. dishwasher? Dishwasher safe, and all of Riedel's glasses are also dishwasher okay, safe. Okay, I just have to... Um, <laughs> friend got me these. I don't know if you guys can see. They're they're actually mason, mason jars. Mason jars, yeah. And uh, a friend made these for me. I love this idea. What? But what do you think about drinking wine out of these? My friend Barry tells me all the time that he goes to Italy and the guys sit around drinking wine out of mason jars. And if they, it's good enough for them in Italy, it's good enough for us. This is like outside with ice in your wine, right? Well, we talked about <laughs> ice in the wine. Come on. <laughs> Don't make them cringe. Right. <laughs> all right. Matthew Horvin, sommelier. And you can check out his blog. It's called A Good Time with Wine. Just head to our website, cbs12.com slash links, and we'll link you there.